All right, welcome to the introduction video for the World Credit Games. Uh, before watching this video, you should have amazing professionally designed game uh, and also the example that was created in Scratch. If you haven't played those, they can be combined with the game uh, familiar with the game. going to be going through as you're playing the game. Uh, the games that we've created before have a lot of coding going on with the actual sprite or the player itself. Uh, we will be looking into a lot of those, but um, mainly the, the main learning for this exercise is the whole progression of going to a home screen, level one, level two, level three, or however many levels you're going to have in your game. So I wanted to just take some time before uh, we get into the actual game design on Scratch and talk about um, some type of map that we're going to draw on this paper right here as to uh, the different events that have to happen uh, throughout uh, designing this particular game. So I think it's really helpful to have uh, our different levels just drawn out in pictures and they don't have to be any kind of fancy artwork. It's just a better sense of uh, how the whole flow and whole mechanic is going to go through this game, right? We know that we start out with just a blank sheet of uh, paper essentially. So uh, I'm going to just come up here and just call this one home screen. All right, and on our home screen, we have um, just some words that say the world's hardest game. Uh, we have our player that's moving all around. All right, we have a button down here that says new game. All right, and any other stuff we want to put on there, we absolutely can. All right, let's just get a picture in our mind that um, when we start up our game, this all this stuff needs to just appear, right? And then when we start our new game, all of it has to go away, right? So we need to get used to broadcasting, start home screen, Right? And when we broadcast this command, start home screen, that means the player has to show up. All right, so this thing shows up, and then it has to do all of this stuff. All right, the words have to show up. The new game button has to show. All right, then over here on the other side, uh, we need to know when we hit new game and we go into level number one, all this stuff has to go away. All right, so we're going to broadcast home screen, which is start home screen. And then we have end home screen. All right, and again, these are broadcast. All right, so broadcast start home screen, all this stuff shows up, broadcast end home screen, then we have to hide player. All right, we want to hide the words. And we want to hide new game. All right, wherever we have a button in this map, we want to know where does this button bring us? Well, new game is going to bring us to level number one all right now level one when we go to it has if i can draw this out here there we start this is what our screen looks like this is where our end screen is all right we have the things going this way and this way this way right so we have our uh, this is where our player shows up and this is where our finish line is Right? And again, like we have up here up top, we have a bunch of commands that happen when we do start level one. All right, and then we have end level one. All right. All right, so when start level one happens, we know that we want to change the backdrop. All 
we want to have our objects show up, right? Our obstacles, I guess we can call them. So show obstacles. Our player has to go to a position. All right, whatever this position is here, it has to actually go there. Um, we know that during gameplay, uh, now our player can't be touching any of the uh, outside boundaries. Right? If we could go, if we could go outside the boundaries, we could just go up and around over here. Uh, so there's a bunch of things that have to be coded to start um, when start level number one happens. All right, when uh, our player hits into one of these obstacles, we know that it has to reset the beginning. So that all needs to be coded within start level one. Uh, we know that when our player gets over here to the finish line, that's going to need to trigger level two. All right. Or we know that we have a button down here that's called end game. All right. And then when end game happens, uh, that's going to bring us back to our home screen over here. Okay. It's good to have all these commands. When we think about when all of these things happen, when we finish, Level one, right? When you get to over here, you want to end level one and start level two. When you hit the end game over here, you want to end level one and start home screen, right? So all these different broadcasts, all these commands help us navigate through uh, this entire game that we have. And it's really helpful to have uh, a command for starting a screen, ending a screen, starting and ending. That way it allows you to navigate through the whole, um, the whole game, right? So uh, when we do our the first thing we're going to design is actually going to be level one. And you're going to notice that we're going to put in a lot of these uh, start level one and end level one commands in order to make this a, a sort of one isolated block. And then after level one, we'll do the home screen, add other levels, 